Hello guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.43 and it is saying that let x denote the reaction time in seconds to a certain stimulus and y denote the temperature in Fahrenheit at which a certain reaction starts to take place. Suppose that two random variables x and y have the joint density function which is represented with fxy which is 4xy for the x which ranges from 0 to 1 and for y which ranges from 0 to 1 as well okay and it is 0 elsewhere so on the basis of this data what do i have to find out i have to find out two parts of it so let me start solving it and in solving part a of our question what is this i have to find out the probability that x is greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 by 2 and y is greater or equal to 1 by 4 and less than or equal to 1 by 2 okay so how can we find it out let us find out so probability of x greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 by 2 and also y greater or equal to 1 by 4 on the instead of and i can also put here this comma so therefore this will be y greater or equal to 1 by 4 and less than or equal to 1 by 2 how can we find out so for each of them i can use certain integration so for it i have to use integration from 0 to 1 by 2 and for it i have to integrate the function from 1 by 4 to 1 by 2 okay so using these two integrations what will happen here i will have here let me first write here the integral for y so it is 1 by 4 to 1 by 2 and then x okay which is 0 to 1 by 2 why did i write here y first and x second let me explain it to you as well so the function here is 4xy so 4xy is here and after it i have to write which function as you can see here very clearly that here i have written this x so therefore i have to use here the integral with respect to first and after it what is the integral you can see that here this is 1 by 4 so therefore i have to put here d of y okay so i have put here d of x second because i can very easily use this function okay this will be easier for me to calculate and then finding the limits here it will give me the answer very easily and after it i can use the integration for y okay so let me solve it and first finding the integration for x for that function this 4 and y will become the constant so here i will have 1 by 4 1 by 2 and this 4 and y will be outside and here i will have 0 to 1 by 2 x dx and dy okay so let me move down somehow okay so moving somehow downwards and writing here 1 by 4 to 1 by 2 okay and here we have 4y and here this will become x square by 2 multiplied by x square divided by 2 and the limits of it are 0 to 1 by 2 and d of y this will be here and here i will have 1 by 4 1 by 2 okay and here 2 x square which is from 0 to 1 by 2 and here this y okay and dy putting these values here and then finding it out what i will get here it will become 1 by 4 minus 0 so it will become 1 by 4 1 by 2 and here it will be uh, 1 by 4 multiplied by 2 it will become what it will become 1 by 2 and here we will have y okay so this is what this is the function i have to integrate later on so now integrating this y with respect to y what i will get here this 1 by 2 is a constant and integrating it with respect to this what i will get here i will have y square divided by 2 and limits are from 1 by 4 
to 1 by 2 okay so this is what we have okay so these two will become 1 by 4 so let me move down somehow as well okay so it will become 1 by 4 okay and putting these limits here what i will get the higher limit is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 minus this 1 by 4 square this is 1 by 16 okay so solving it this will become 1 by 4 and here this is 16 and here it will be 4 minus 1 okay so ultimately i will get 3 over 64 which is the answer of part a of my question okay this is the solution of part a of my question you have seen that how to find it out and the essence of this basically lies in this formula which we had here okay we had used it and we have found it out now on the basis of it the part b is to find the probability that x is less than y okay so the probability that x is less than y so in using formula for this one what do i have to do we can see that y can have any value while the value of x will be dependent upon this y okay so let me first write the integration for y and that can have any values from 0 to 1 because this is the range of y okay this can have any value and this is for this one and here it will be dy let me have this value now after it when it will get any value out of this one the y should be dependent upon it and it will get all the values which has the limit from 0 until and up till this y okay i hope you have got my point that it will not be larger than this y okay so that's why i have used it so now here 4xy and here d of x okay so this is what the concept of this question is so let me solve it this will become 0 1 for solving this integral which is here okay let me use this color for it this is this one first solving this one and solving it what i will get this will become 4 y x square divided by 2 and this is from 0 to y and here dy okay so these two will cancel out here it will be 2 and here i will have here 0 1 and this will become 2 y and putting this limit here i will get y square and it will become dy okay so i hope you have got the concept of this solution, solving it okay so now it will be 2 0 1 here it will be y cube dy which will be 2 into y 4 divided by 4 0 to 1 this will be here and here i will have 1 by 2 which is now 1 raise to power 4 minus 0 raise to power 4 okay which will ultimately give me 1 by 2 okay so the solution of part b is 1 by 2 so which is the probability that x will be less than y and this is 1 by 2 okay so that is basically the solution of part c of part b of my question this is the overall solution of question 3.43 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon